So sometimes you may be sharing something with the students. Um, you'll have a document open on your computer. Maybe it's a worksheet or some class notes or something. Okay. And you want the student to interact with it in a way um, that, you know, like maybe you would do in the classroom if you had a worksheet that you wanted them to fill out or for them to come to the board and write something. So for example, Jessica, who's the teacher, um, has this form where we're taking class notes. And at a certain point in the lesson, she wants me, the student, to come in and fill in um, this document. So one thing that I can do um, is request remote control. So um, when I hover over the screen, you can see here that I'm viewing Jessica's screen, and next to that is View Options. If I click on this little arrow, um, I can come down to the option to request remote control. It's going to ask me, do you really want to request it? And when I request it, it'll send it to Jessica for her to approve it. Um, so if you're the teacher, your student will request you have to approve it before they can control the screen. So now you can see that this um, was turned yellow and says I can con control Jessica's screen. So I can scroll up and down um, and, if, and now here um, I can enter into the worksheet and I can summarize the main points. So sea urchins are dying due to global warming um, or whatever whatever the article happens to be about. Um, can type in my points, um, however many I have. Um, when I'm finished doing whatever I need to do, um, then I need to give control back to Jessica. So I'll come back up to view options and say give up remote control. And now it turns back to green. We're viewing Jessica's screen and she has control. Yeah. Um, and as the teacher, she could then give me corrections, make some yeah. changes, etc. Um, so this is one way that you can have some interaction in the classroom as you're looking at documents, um, even though you're online and not in the same physical space.